Sicily, Italy's largest island. Sicily is famous for its beaches, villages, and medieval ruins, also Europe's most dangerous volcano. Sicily is Italy's largest island and Palerno, with a population of 5 million in its capital. Located south of Italy in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, where Europe, Africa, and the Middle East have always met, shaping Sicily's history and cuisine. Sicily boasts seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites and attracts 15 million tourists every year. Join us in today's video on Sicily, Italy, the ultimate travel vlog. Welcome to Hotels and Cities, a channel that focuses on great places to visit and worthwhile travel destinations for you and your loved ones. Before we jump into our list, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon to always be updated on all things travel. Now let's get into it. Sicily's most famous landmark is Etna, which at 3,357 meters is Europe's tallest active volcano. Etna has towered over Catania for 500,000 years and erupted as recently as 2013. Sicily relies on agriculture and tourism on Etna slopes where 25% of the population resides. Skiers can appreciate the volcano's dramatic summit craters, which summer hikers also love. Nicolosi and Pian Provenzana have good lifts to downhill slopes, ski schools, and rental stores. Nordic skiers use Etna Park Authority trails. For its scientific and cultural significance, UNESCO has listed Mount Etna since 2013. Catania, Sicily's second largest city with 300,000 inhabitants, faces the Ionian Sea and is located at the foot of Mount Etna. Catania's history revolves around a volcano. In 1693, an earthquake destroyed Catania, which had already been covered by lava in 1669, making the city distinctive with its gray lava buildings. Catania's old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and tourism is increasing with the government and business sector investing in the hospitality industry to make it more competitive. Southern Italy's largest airport is Catania Fontanarosa. Truman Capote and D.H. Lawrence were inspired by Sicily's charming resort town Taormina. Visitors can take a cable car to the beach or walk uphill past St. Joseph Church for panoramic views. Taormina has several antique shops, taverns, restaurants, and churches, and hosts various summer exhibitions. The antique theater in Taormina offers pop, classical, opera, and notable performances. Syracuse, Syracusa in Italian, has a beautiful city center, a cathedral and archaeological park with Greek and Roman ruins. The city was founded by ancient Greek Corinthians and Tinians and became a strong city-state connecting to Sparta and Corinth and affecting all of Magna Graecia, of which it was the most important. The city is a UNESCO-listed site, and Ortegia, Syracuse's historic heart, is a small island with many landmarks. Ragusa, a Baroque town in southeastern Sicily, is a UNESCO-listed site, with Ragusa Superior on a hilltop and Ragusa Ibla at the bottom. The upper village of Ragusa Ibla is also worth visiting. Ragusa is 40 minutes from Modica, one of Sicily's eight UNESCO heritage Val di Noto communities. The 1693 earthquake changed Modica's architectural landscape, resulting in the Baroque San Giorgio Cathedral and San Pietro Church. Modica has the best Sicilian chocolate and visitors can attend a chocolate festival and a museum where the chocolate is occasionally flavored with chili, cinnamon, or vanilla. Anna is a beautiful town located on a 1,000-meter mountainside that overlooks the hilly Di Taino Valley. The town's skyline is dominated by Lombardi Castle, Italy's largest medieval castle. Anna's medieval old town has narrow streets and Greek and Roman archaeological sites, and the town's main industry is agriculture, which means that tourists can enjoy fresh cuisine. Agrigento is an agricultural center that draws travelers to its archaeological sites. Sicily's Concordia Temple, which is 500 years old, is a must-see. The eastern group has the Juno Lacinia Temple, which is almost as large, while the western group has the Olympian Zeus Temple, which was the largest at 40 meters but collapsed in an earthquake. The western group's round Doric Heracles Temple was demolished by the Carthaginians 
renovated by the Romans and partially ruined by an earthquake. The Western Group is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Scala dei Tucci, which is located 20 minutes from the Valley of the Temples, is another must-see attraction in Sicily. Visitors can climb the erosion-carved steps on the white limestone cliff, and the blue sea and fine sand beaches make Scala dei Tucci a beautiful place to visit. Hundreds of people watch the sunset here during high season. Selinunte, a Greek city on Sicily's southwest coast near a small river's mouth, is the largest archaeological park in Europe. Its temples, fortresses, alleys, burial sites, and small family residences are easily accessible by vehicle from western Sicily's main towns. The Acropolis can be walked in three hours from the park's electric rail. The fishing port of Trapani, which is the entry point for the Egadi Islands, was founded by the Olympians on Sicily's west coast. Trapani below Monte Erice has something for everyone. Palermo boats take 1.5 hours to the volcanic Egadi Islands, Pantelleria, Sardinia, and France. Trapani's airport, northern and southern coasts are accessible, and the beautiful beaches and a waterfront stroll along the medieval walls offer many ways to relax and enjoy the sea. Although the ancient city of Trapani is gone, its Baroque buildings remain. San Vito Lo Capo is a small tourist town in Sicily's northwest that is famed in Italy and abroad for its stunning white sand beach at Monte Monaco. The postcard perfect beach includes 3 kilometers of white sand, palm trees, and clear blue-green waters protected by a high headland. Summer crowds are surprising for Italy's nicest beach. Palermo, northwest Sicily's 2,700-year-old capital, borders the Tyranian Sea Gulf of Palermo. Phoenicians, Cartaginians, Greeks, Romans, Arabs, and French have invaded Palermo due to its strategic location in the Mediterranean. Architectural styles and place names with non-Italian etymologies reflect this past. Palermo remains an adventure in a world where many places are overly tourist-friendly, as few restaurants have five language menus. Many don't speak English, and some of the ancient town center was damaged during the war. Arab Norman Palermo, Cephalu, and Monreal cathedrals are UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and Euro-Mediterranean megacity development is underway. Cefalu, Sicily's most popular resort, attracts millions of tourists from Sicily, Italy, and Europe to its northern shore location 70 miles from Palermo, thanks to its modest population of 14,000. The historic district is anchored by Roger II, the Normans, Norman-style Sicilian Romanesque Duomo, with its well-maintained facade of interlacing pointed arches. Cephalu Beach is perfect for swimming, and beachfront stores and eateries line the town's small streets. The Aeolian Islands' seven active volcanoes in northern Sicily offer tourists rugged beaches and nighttime fireworks at Stromboli. Visitors can reach the Aeolian Islands by hydrofoil or boat from Milazzo, Palermo, or Messina, where they can enjoy beaches, boat rentals, diving, and scenic boat cruises. Only homeowners can drive to Milazzo Volcano, which takes 90 minutes by boat. Messina, with a population of 230,000, is Sicily's third largest city and Italy's 13th. It owes its significance as a Calabria access terminal in northeast Sicily to its natural harbor and proximity to the mainland. Many travelers use it as a gateway to Sicily's many attractions. Messina streets come alive with song and color during numerous enjoyable festivals, and it boasts one of Sicily's best cathedrals and a fantastic regional museum. Sicily's best tourist seasons are April to June and September to October, with fewer tourists and cooler weather than in summer. Spring rains should be avoided. State-run museums, galleries, parks, and ruins are free every first Sunday of the month. June draws the most people to Sicily for beach season, but May, especially the second half, offers fewer crowds when the sea is warm enough for swimming. September and October are ideal since the sea won't have cooled and many tourists will be gone. Mount Etna can be hiked year-round, but May or late September and October are preferred due to warm temperatures and minimal crowds. Arriving early is recommended to enjoy better vistas and peace since clouds tend to form later in the day. 
Sicily's cities are best explored by train, but remember to pre-validate your ticket to avoid penalties. Buses are cheaper but slower than trains. Cash is necessary for bus tickets, which can be purchased at newsstands, bars, and tabachi shops. Driving in Sicily can be challenging due to traffic, complex tolls, limited traffic zones, and parking difficulties. Winter ferry service is limited in Sicily, which is surrounded by water. Sicily has three airports, Palermo, Trapani, and Catania. Although Italy planned a Strait of Messina bridge in the 1990s, the longest suspension bridge was cancelled in 2006. Before we end today's video, make sure to scroll down the description below to check out fantastic deals and discounts on travel and accommodations for your next getaway, as well as essential travel gadgets that you shouldn't be without. That's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, click that like button and share this with your fellow travel buddies. If you want to be always updated whenever we have a new video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to always be in the loop whenever we have new content. Thanks for watching and safe travels!